I got a comment on one of the videos that I made about Studio One and someone was frustrated about the smart tool features that are inside of Studio One. And I'll show you what they are here in a second. It sounded like this person was jumping from Logic to Studio One like I have. And I understand where their frustration comes from and I will show them a workaround, but I also wanna play devil's advocate here because this feature is so handy when you start to get used to it. If this is your first time here, I am Andrew Barr with Producing in the Box where I teach you how to make incredible sounding music without analog gear, all completely in the box. If you are a Studio One user, I have a gift for you. I have free vocal presets. Just click the link in the description and download them for free. It is my gift to you for watching this video and for being a part of my channel and for clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already. So click the link in the description and download the free vocal presets that I have for Studio One. It works with both Studio One Professional and Artist. You have to be updated to 5.5 or newer though. Literally just take the presets and drag and drop them onto your track and they work smoothly. No third party plugins required because the plugins inside of Studio One are fantastic. So let's jump into the dot and I will show you what the Smart Tools features are about. All right, so we have a little track here that sounds like this. Kind of like a uh, Doom Eternal kind of style, Mick Gordon metal. Super fun. I was just playing around with it. A link to the song will be in the description below. It's on my SoundCloud. I was just having fun and making tracks like this. So the smart tool features are up here. So you can click through all of these and they are different features or you can use the number keys one through eight. And this little bracket will tie these two together because these are the most important features of Studio One, I think, which is like you're going to use... Um, the arrow tool, and you're going to use the range tool a lot. Um, but with both of these put together, let's take a look at one of these one of these tracks. If you're on the top here and you try to click and drag, it's it's not going to move the audio file. It's actually going to create this little range. And then you can click and drag this around if you want to um, from there. But if you actually want to move the audio file, you have to go below the middle and then drag it around. And if you're a first time Studio One user, this can be frustrating, but I promise you, you're gonna wanna get used to it. Now, if we just click this little bracket tool, now no matter where we click it, it's there. And then if we want to, we can just click the number two, and then there's our range tool, and we can click back to number one. But I don't like having anything that is like a repeated process. I like to eliminate a lot so that way I can work fast and smooth inside of my software. So I have really come to love this feature. So for example, let's say we have this little riff um, over here. So let's say I wanted to do a little bit of slip editing. I was a little bit out of time and whatnot. So what I can do is I can click here, click and drag just this one note, hold shift so I can actually fine tune where it's at. Then I can click and drag. So now I get to have this as its own. Then I can hold control and alt and I can slip edit inside of the software here. So I want that to be exactly there. So I'm going to click control and alt again and I'm going to tighten that note up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing for up here. So click and drag over here. Now I select that and it's part of its own. Control and alt and then I can tighten that note up again with a little bit of slip editing. <laughs> super super handy and if i had this feature off i could still do the same thing i just still have to select the track then click number two and then drag over click number one select it again and then it just i just don't seem to really like that workflow but if that works for you that's completely fine it's why they have this feature here so for another little section over here i made a little mistake on the bass and you can kind of see it right here i didn't come down on the downbeat and let's take a listen to what this part of the, the track sounds like See how I missed that downbeat right there on the bass? See, I just kind of goofed up. So what I can do is, since I have packed the folder for the bass, super, super handy, super simple. You just select both, right click it, and then click pack folder. And now they're inside of a folder. So now I have the low bass and the grip bass.
and then them blended together really gives that tone that I'm looking for. Now I can edit both of them at the same time. And with my smart tool features on, um, I am going to find a part where I already started this riff and want to continue on with it. So, so that was pretty tight. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select this from here to there. And then I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to hold Alt to duplicate it. And there it is. So it was just a little bit early, so I'm going to hold Control and Alt, and then I'm going to drag that in there, really line it up there. Now let's take a listen to see what it sounds like. Pretty sweet. Pretty slick feature and I absolutely love it. So that is about it. I seem to really like the Smart Tools feature inside of Studio One. They take a little bit to get used to, especially if you're jumping from another DAW, but once you get used to it, you're never gonna be able to go back. But if you wanna disable it, you can just click that little bracket icon and switch between the keys on your keyboard. So if those Studio One presets are something you're interested in, click the link in the description and download them for free. I am grateful that you're here and you are watching my content. So now as always, go create.